in this video I'll be checking if double impact drums drum samples will hold it up to one of the top of the bill products out there out there Everybody, it's Jonathan from Red Pack Productions where crap comes in and magic goes out. On this channel, you'll be getting test videos of recording techniques, gear reviews, and making of band recordings. So, if you're new here, subscribe. So, lately, I've been trying to get some collaborations running for my YouTube channel and my studio which got me in contact with the guys from Double Impact Productions. These guys run a kick-ass studio in the northern parts of the Netherlands. Please check out uh, their website, uh, link in the description. They also make uh, profile bundles for camper amplifiers and high-end drum samples. So I asked them if I could make a review uh, for my YouTube channel for one of these products. So these guys hooked me up with their stuff, big thumbs up for that, I hope their shit is as good as their personality. These guys already made some different videos about what you will get for your money, which drums they used, where they recorded it, which mics, yada yada yada. So I'll put all the links of the websites and YouTube videos in the description down below if you want to check it out. Anyway, that wasn't really interesting for me to review. I just wanted to know does their shit work good, fast and do I get great mixes with their samples. So I thought I'll make a mix with their stuff and see how it holds up to the tune track samples I normally use. I picked a song of my own band Drain Life which I use for my intros on my videos. So I first went on and downloaded their ultimate custom bundle. That seemed their flagship of drum samples. They got a really good looking website where you can purchase their bundles and they even got a free bundle to test it out before you buy their premium stuff. Everything went well, filled in the forms and when you hit place order you get to this page. Here I found that the download links were really dark and I had to really concentrate to download the right files. And my concentration span is that of a goldfish, what resulted in me not reading the download instructions and just started clicking on the whole lot. Which in turn led to me not downloading the files correctly at first. So second time around I downloaded them one at a time like they stated it on their website. Uh, and after unzipping, unroaring, unclothing, I had uh, their bundle in my possession and I could go and work with them. I thought. So after scrolling through their good looking and comprehensive manual, I came to the conclusion you need a sampler to use their virtual instruments correctly. Let me tell you a secret. I don't have one of the three software programs they recommend. So I went online and looked at these samplers and my eye fell on contact player from native instruments. Because they say the sampler is free. But after countless time the player deactivated because it's in demo mode. Uh, whilst trying to work with it in my DAW I found this online. Which states in short it's not free to use. Thanks Native Instruments for the heads up and a few hours of my life wasted on trying uh, to make it work. So I had to change plans because I didn't have the intention to buy 400 euros worth of software to make this review. So for this shootout I loaded two presets. That gave me just enough time to make a mix down without this goddamn player ditching on me. One with the ultimate custom bundle and one with Toon Tracks Metal Foundry. I didn't do anything to the sound, this is just the presets, uh, nothing more, nothing less. I'll post the results at the end of this video. People tend to judge with their eyes, not their ears. So in this way I hope we'll get a more honest opinion. Here we go!
I think the results were pretty impressive, uh, considering they were both uh, just presets. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, which one you liked the most. Uh, thanks for watching. Jonathan out. Redback Productions.